Hey everybody, so this is a bit of an out of sorts kind of video. Out of the usual style, if you will, and certainly outside of my comfort zone. I hate doing stuff like this, but it's gotta be done. It's the only sensible thing. So, some of you might recall that last summer I had very cold feet about graduating from university because I was afraid of what comes next. I was living in student accommodation and I wouldn't be able to live there anymore, so I would effectively be without an apartment. All this during the cost of living crisis in the UK. It is a bad time to emerge into the world as a graduate, and going home to live with parents wasn't really a possibility. So now, the situation that I'm in currently is that I am homeless. Now, before you panic, don't worry, this was part of the plan. It's more that I am between homes than outright destitute and afraid. I'm currently staying at my good pal Sam's, who's very kindly offered me a large chunk of his floor to sleep on. I've got an air mattress, so I'm super comfortable. And I wanna put one thing out there. I'm doing well. I'm doing really well at the moment. Sam is a great guy to live with. I'm having a lot of fun over here. He showed me The Lighthouse, and it's probably one of my favorite movies now. And I'm making sure to pay him back for the trouble. The thing is, this isn't necessarily going to be sustainable, though. This is this is Sam's apartment. It's a one-room thing, so he's given up a lot of his space and a lot of his privacy to have me here. So in the meantime, what's going on? I'm looking for jobs. Kind of in and around the London area, I am looking for jobs both in marketing, content creation, film and television, and I'm not ruling out retail. This is all to get some savings down, to get some money back in so that I can move to my next place, which is likely going to be a house share because, again, there is a cost of living crisis going on in the UK at the moment. So to get my very own flat is probably a little unlikely. While I'm working hard, applying for tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of jobs, YouTube is currently my sole source of income. And as a lot of my fellow YouTubers probably know, it's not a great source of income nor is it very consistent. But basically, I'm doing everything I can to get my start out in the world now. Now that I'm graduated, I'm doing everything I can. Tons of job applications. I'm looking at affordable housing. If it exists, so am I right? I'm doing everything I can to up the quality and duration of my YouTube videos. And I think I wouldn't be doing everything I can if I didn't let you guys, my audience, in on this. So basically, what I'm saying is this. I'm very uncomfortable asking for money on social media media. But if you have any coin to spare whatsoever, it would be hugely, hugely appreciated. I will be putting links in the description below to my Ko-Fi page, my PayPal, and of course my Patreon is always down there as well. But like Ko-Fi and PayPal are the ones to go to if you don't want to make like a monthly pledge as such. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have much to give, so how much help can I be? But put it this way, let's say like the minimum amount of views my average video gets is like 1,000 viewers. If 1,000 viewers were to donate $1 each, I'd have $1,000. That's just how this works. So I'm not necessarily asking anybody to dig deep or anything like that. I'm just a random guy on the internet. I don't expect anyone to send 100 or whatever my way. And the thing is, I, I have posted this on my community feed and on Twitter as well, and I have been pretty staggered by the response that it has gotten. I do want to give some thank you shout outs right now to the following people. I would like to say thank you to Adzink uh, to an anonymous Ko-Fi supporter, that Jordo, Ivan Zaragoza, Kingery 2011, Toasted Matt, Somebody, Where's Arnold, another anonymous Ko-Fi supporter, Connor and Miles the Prower for your generosity so far. Anyone that does send any money my way will absolutely, absolutely get a shout out. It is the least I can do. But on top of that, I'm trying to earn my money, so I want to make an announcement. On Friday the 13th of January, after the Sunset City podcast, at 9pm GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, I will be consecutively live streaming the entirety of Sonic Frontiers, the entire game, from the start of the story to the very end, as a fundraiser to help get some new foundations down for me. So I'm hoping that you good folks will join in that live stream, and that those who can send a super chat my way will 
at least consider it, I guess. <laughs> but obviously, I don't expect that from anybody. At the end of the day, though, YouTube is my biggest asset that I have right now. This channel is the biggest asset that I have right now in terms of making money. I am incredibly optimistic about 2023 for this channel. I think there's a possibility, and I'm not taking it for granted, but I think there's a possibility that we could reach 100,000 subscribers this year. And let me just say, by no means would I view it as a failure if I didn't make it to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm really lucky to have the 80 or so K that I currently have. I want to make that goddamn clear. But let me also just say, I couldn't be more determined and hungry for it. So if you guys would share my channel around, share my content around with anyone who might be interested in it, anyone who might be able to draw new viewers to it, that would also be super appreciated. And you know what? Here's Sam. Here's the guy that's taken me in. You guys ought to know who he is. He's a great pal of mine. So take it away, Sam. Oh my God, that was really shocking, wasn't it? The way he just went, Arr. Anyway, hello, my name is Sam. You might recognize me, but you probably don't. Will is currently staying in my gaff, which we're in at the moment. Um, so yeah, Will uh, just got back to the UK. Um, he's still doing his YouTube stuff, but he's looking for like looking for a gaff and work, etc. In London, which is a pain in the arse. Obviously, I love having him here, but we need to get him sorted. So he's going to be doing this live stream. So basically, j just to sort of help us get through. So basically, give us your money, and if there's any landlords out there and you want to take Will in, just know that you will have released me, and this monster will be yours. Thank you. This is the man whose floor we're trying to get back. So that's what's happening, folks. I am now transparently all about profits. <laughs> I hate to beg for money, but this is just this is just the situation that I'm in right now. But I'm optimistic. I'm in a good mental headspace. So fear not. This is not me being destitute or desperate or anything like that. I'm just determined to get these foundations laid down and jump headfirst into the world. And with you guys' help, maybe make a little history along the way. So links to everything are in the description below. There will be links to my PayPal, to my Patreon, if you want to do like a monthly pledge kind of thing, and my Ko-Fi page for one-off payments too. The Sonic Frontiers live stream will be the coming Friday after Sunset City. And even if you can't donate anything, it just means a lot to me that you just show up, you know? All right, so that's me done for this video. Sorry that it ended up being a bit more of a beggy kind of video, but there's really no easy way of doing this kind of thing, and there's no rule book for stepping out into the world after graduation, especially when going back to live with your parents isn't really an option. So I thank you all for understanding, and I wish you all a great day. Thanks for watching.